Hello. Why are there not more people talking about the mystery of Mandy Stavik's disappearance? Are you ready to find out what happened to her? It was 1989, Thanksgiving weekend. Mandy Stavik, an 18-year-old girl, went missing. She went for a jog with her dog, Kira, on the rural roads of Acme. Hours passed, and Mandy didn't come back. People got worried. Search parties looked for her, calling her name in the woods. Neighbors searched their land, feeling scared. Mandy's disappearance was a shock to their quiet lives. Where was she? Days turned into nights. Hope faded. Then a terrible discovery. Mandy's body was found in the Nooksack River three days later. The happy young woman was gone, leaving a big emptiness. Her death showed that bad things could happen even in nice places. The autopsy showed Mandy was murdered. Her murder shocked the small community. This wasn't just news, it was a personal tragedy. Fear spread in Acme, reminding everyone that danger could be anywhere. I remember that Thanksgiving. My family was together, but the news of Mandy's disappearance made us all sad. It showed that even in our small town, bad things could happen. But what if there was more to this story? What if Mandy's disappearance and murder were part of a bigger, more sinister plan? Join us as we look deeper into the mystery, finding connections and secrets that have been hidden for years. The investigation began immediately. Every lead, a potential thread in a complex tapestry of clues. Detectives interviewed residents, meticulously piecing together Mandy's last known movements. The community, reeling from the tragedy, cooperated fully, desperate for answers. Whispers of the case echoed through the aisles of the local grocery store, the pews of the church, and across backyard fences. Theories abounded. Strangers, it was whispered, were responsible. Drifters passing through town. But the truth, like the shadows lengthening with the setting sun, remained elusive. Years turned into decades. The case grew cold. Files gathered dust, the details within fading into a blur of time. Mandy's family and friends carried on, haunted by her absence. The community, forever marked by the tragedy, held on to the hope that someday justice would be served. The initial investigation, though thorough, failed to yield a concrete suspect. The lack of conclusive evidence was a frustrating hurdle. The case, though never forgotten, faded from the headlines. But for those closest to Mandy, the pain remained, a constant ache in their hearts. The years following Mandy's death were a blur of grief and unanswered questions. The community, though shaken, tried to heal. They held vigils, their candles flickering tributes to a life tragically cut short. Mandy's memory lived on in the hearts of those who loved her, a bittersweet reminder of their loss. Then, a flicker of hope. Advances in DNA technology offered a new avenue of investigation. Detectives, clinging to the belief that Mandy's killer would be found, submitted evidence for analysis. The community, hardened by years of waiting, held its breath. The results, however, were inconclusive. The DNA profile, while providing a tantalizing lead, did not match anyone in the existing databases. Disappointment washed over the community. It seemed the answers they sought were still out of reach, shrouded in a veil of scientific uncertainty. The investigation once again hit a wall. The trail had gone cold. The case files, filled with dead ends and unfulfilled promises, were shelved once more. The hope that had briefly flared, dimmed, leaving behind a residue of frustration and despair. Despite the setbacks, the detectives remained steadfast. They refused to let Mandy's case fade into obscurity. They continued to review the evidence, pursuing every new lead, no matter how small. Their dedication, a testament to their unwavering belief that even the most complex puzzles could be solved. In the background, the world changed. Technology advanced at an unprecedented rate. DNA analysis became more sophisticated, capable of unlocking secrets previously hidden within the very building blocks of life. This cutting-edge technology, a beacon of hope, held the key to finally cracking the Mandy Stavik case. Then in 2017, a breakthrough. A DNA sample, submitted by a suspect in an unrelated case, match the profile from the Mandy Stavik investigation. The pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place. The suspect, 
a man who had lived in the area at the time of Mandy's murder, became the focus of a renewed investigation. Detectives worked tirelessly, carefully building their case. They conducted surveillance, interviewed potential witnesses, and meticulously gathered evidence. Their efforts, fueled by years of frustration and a deep-seated desire for justice, were about to culminate in a dramatic turn of events. The DNA match was a game-changer. It was the breakthrough that the investigators had been waiting for, a piece of evidence that could finally bring clarity to a case that had haunted the community for years. The meticulous work of forensic scientists had paid off, and the results were undeniable. It provided a name, Timothy Bass, a name that would soon become infamous in the small town. The DNA evidence pointed directly to him, leaving no room for doubt. This was the moment when the investigation took a decisive turn. He was not a stranger to the investigation. In fact, Timothy Bass had been on the radar of the authorities for quite some time. His name had come up in various contexts, but there had never been enough evidence to link him directly to the crime. Until now. Bass had been a neighbor of the Stavik family. He lived just a few houses down the street, blending into the fabric of the community. To many, he was just another resident, a familiar face in the neighborhood. But behind that facade, there was a dark secret waiting to be uncovered. He had even been part of the search party that combed the woods for Mandy. It was a chilling thought, knowing that the man who had joined the search efforts was the very person responsible for her disappearance. The community had come together in a desperate attempt to find Mandy, never suspecting that the perpetrator was among them. The revelation sent shockwaves through the community. People were stunned, unable to comprehend how someone they knew could be capable of such a heinous act. The trust that had been built over years was shattered in an instant, replaced by a sense of betrayal and disbelief. Bass, now a man in his fifties, lived a seemingly normal life. He went about his daily routine, interacting with neighbors and participating in community events. To the outside world, he was an ordinary man, leading an unremarkable life. But beneath the surface, there was a darkness that few could have imagined. He was a father, a truck driver, a member of the community. He had built a life that appeared stable and respectable. He played with his children in the park, drove his truck on long hauls, and was a familiar face at local gatherings. But the DNA evidence told a different story, one that would unravel the carefully constructed image he had maintained for decades. Yet the DNA linked him to a dark past, a secret he had kept hidden for almost three decades. The weight of that secret had been a constant presence in his life, a shadow that followed him wherever he went. The evidence was irrefutable, connecting him to a crime that had left a permanent scar on the community. The evidence was mounting, casting a long shadow over Bass and his carefully constructed life. The walls were closing in, and there was no escaping the truth. The DNA match was just the beginning. Investigators were determined to uncover every detail of his involvement in Mandy's disappearance. Detectives, armed with a search warrant, descended upon Bass's home. They were meticulous in their approach, leaving no stone unturned. The search was thorough, and every piece of evidence was carefully documented. The goal was to build an airtight case, one that would leave no room for doubt in the minds of the jury. They collected DNA samples, hoping to solidify their case. The forensic experts worked tirelessly, analyzing the samples with precision and care. Each piece of evidence was a crucial part of the puzzle, bringing them one step closer to justice for Mandy. The community watched, a mixture of anticipation and dread hanging in the air. The news of the search had spread quickly, and people gathered outside Bass's home hoping for answers. There was a palpable tension, a sense that something significant was about to happen. Would this finally be the break they had been waiting for? The question lingered in the minds of everyone present. The community had waited for so long, enduring years of uncertainty and pain. Now there was a glimmer of hope that justice might finally be served. The results confirmed their suspicions. The DNA evidence was conclusive, leaving no doubt about Bass's involvement. The detectives exchanged satisfied looks, knowing that their hard work had paid off. This was the moment they had been working towards, the breakthrough that would bring closure to a long and painful chapter. The DNA from Bass's home matched the samples collected from the crime scene. It was the final piece of the puzzle, the irrefutable proof that linked him to the crime. The evidence was overwhelming and there was no escaping the truth. It was the irrefutable proof they needed. 
The case against Bass was now rock solid, and the detectives knew that they had done their job. The prosecutor was confident, and the team celebrated their success. This was a victory for justice, a moment that would be remembered for years to come. Timothy Bass was arrested and charged with Mandy Stavik's murder. The news spread quickly, and the community watched as Bass was led away in handcuffs. It was a moment of triumph, a sign that justice was finally being served. The news spread like wildfire, a mixture of relief and disbelief washing over the community. People hugged each other, tears of relief streaming down their faces. There was a sense of closure, a feeling that the long nightmare was finally coming to an end. Could this be the end of their long nightmare? The community gathered for a candlelight vigil, honoring Mandy's memory and reflecting on the journey they had been through. There was a sense of peace, a feeling that justice had been served. The nightmare was over, and the healing could finally begin. Please like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more content. Your support helps us bring more stories like Mandy's to light.